I've decided to give it a go to try the bigger of the of the two black ear shark catfish to upgrade it from this 240 gallon into 1800 gallon mostly because of the very nervous nature of this fish and also because they're very strong swimmers and they really benefit from more space and they really come down in bigger tanks this one is more or less okay but its brother over there rubbed the blister on its snout from licking the glass all the time but it's too small to go in there I think so I'm gonna try with the bigger one first and see how it goes I'm afraid the masseurs will uh, are opportunists and they may try and take advantage of a weaker or a stressed fish and start biting its fins but I'll keep a look I'll keep a watch on it and uh, and see what happens nervous and very fast fish, very skittish, we have some of the skittish in the top, in the top few of the skittish fish we ever dealt with. Much, much bigger home for you. Hopefully, you'll do better here. <laughs> Regurgi regurgitating the pilots, you see, he just had. From all the nervousness, he regurgitated them, and some of them are still intact. And he had this pilots, what, about half a day ago? I mean, by half a day, I mean like four hours ago, six hours ago. So this black ear shark is joining uh, the old one we had here, this one. Much, much bigger, but still pretty small for this age. This shark is about, uh, I want to say seven years old. And it's still maybe about a foot and a half, maybe 20 inches at most. Even though at this age in the wild it should be about 3-4 feet. But this is, most of them are farm culls because they're farmed in Southeast Asia. So they come from farms and uh, we get inferior fish with inferior genetics which grow, which underperform, it's a food fish, so they have to grow at a certain pace, and if they don't, they're cold. And notice how he's circling in the same spot he's used to 240 gallons. And he doesn't know he has more, more, he doesn't realize there is more space right now. So he's circling in the same spot. It'll take a while for it to figure out that it's got more space. And see the masseur, the little masseur is trying to taste him. 
I don't know if you caught them, but the little masseur is trying to taste them because they, they're opportunists. They feel the weakness and the stress, and they take advantage of it and start attacking and biting fish that are stressed. Okay, gulp some air. Shark catfish are known for supplementing their breathing with air. Coming down, more or less. Oops. Didn't realize there was a post in there, right? See? See the smaller masseur is pursuing the stressed fish, trying to see what, what it is. Could it be edible? Could it be used to supplement my diet? with fins and slime and scales. Can't trust the masseur. They're predatory carp, which are very smart and opportunistic. See if house is still circling in the same spot. Something spooks it, it swims farther. But if nothing bothers it, it swims in circles because in its memory it's burned its this the size of its former tank, eight feet by two feet. It'll take a while to relax and learn the new size of the new tank. Again, the masseur, the little masseur bumped him, see, and he's again sw swam towards the black ear. Black ear is such a strong and quick swim swimmer, maybe the masseur will get tired of chasing it. But right now, they are paying attention to it, see, see. little anise fish. They also see me and they're apprehensive. I mean the masseur. Otherwise I don't know what they'd be capable of. Probably more aggression. The black hair shark comes from the same genus as Parun shark, so they have beautiful large fins with extensions, long extensions on them, which looks very graceful. Look at the size of its tail. It's two-thirds of the size of the length of the body, if not three quarters. If you measure the length of the tail from up to down. So they're extremely fast swimmers and strong swimmers and they never stop they swim 24 7 just like parons and iridescent sharks another pangasi day fish catfish from the family of pangasi day It'll take it a long while to come down. 
as I said, they're very easily scared and skittish fish. They have a touchy nervous system. Well, we'll report any developments later, whether it will be able to handle this community or not. If not, it'll have to go back to its tank and grow up some more before being tried again. My desire is always, or our desire is always to give any fish we get the biggest possible tank. But oftentimes it backfi backfires in our face spectacularly when the fish are killed by tank mates or fish can't control their food intake and overeat. Now the big guy freaked out, see? The big uh, black ear freaked out. From me probably pacing back and forth in front of the tank, which never happens. The big black ear had his fins damaged way too many times when it lived in the 4500 gallon tank by African tiger fish and other aggressive tank mates so eventually I had to take it out but like its top fin and the top lobe of the tail never grew back to where they used to be same goes for the uh, pelvic fins but that's why its finish is uh, is the way that it is it should be the proportion should be like on this fish the fin proportions I, I mean relative to the body size and everything except this this black here is uh, about a year old and that big black here as I said is about seven years old 